Hi, I'm Colin Haynes, spinal surgeon at the Virginia Spine Institute. A common question that I get asked is what is spinal stenosis? Oftentimes patients see me being diagnosed with spinal stenosis, but they don't know exactly what that means. Well, what it really means is just pinching of the nerves in the low back. Spinal stenosis can come from multiple different problems. One of them is a disc herniation. So the intervertebral discs, or the discs that live in between the bones, are the normal shock absorbers that allow for motion. Well, if one of them herniates or it causes uh, pressure on the nerves, you can get one type of spinal stenosis. Another type is the facet joints. All the facet joints are the normal joints that live in the back allowing for motion. Well, just like the hips and the knees in someone's body can get arthritic and get bone on bone arthritis, the same thing can happen in the joints in the back. Over time, if instability persists, the joints can get bigger and bigger to try to support the load that they're no longer able to. And when that occurs, you can get pressure on the nerves causing spinal stenosis. Now, just because you have spinal stenosis doesn't mean you necessarily have to have surgery. Oftentimes, physical therapy, anti-inflammatory medications, and even injections can take care of all that debilitating nerve pain caused by spinal stenosis. However, surgery is sometimes needed. And not all surgeries are created equal. There are many minimally invasive options, many motion preserving options, and even minimally invasive and robotic spinal fusions that allow you to get back to the life you wanted because of your spinal stenosis and limiting you.